So Sean says, have you ever had a lucid dream, but then it turns into a normal dream when you're still in the dream? Yes, this is one of the most annoying things about lucid dreaming. If you are too emotionally in involved with what's going on, if you're too emotionally invested in what your dream character is doing, you're gonna have a very hard time staying lucid. And this is something that's probably a bit controversial and I hope that some, I'm hoping that I'll get some sort of response from this video from maybe other YouTubers who talk about lucid dreaming or from even just people, anyone really, anyone in the comments section, I wanna hear what you think about this. Here's just, here's my take on it, okay? You've gotta consider lucid dreaming like a video game. And in a video game, you are of course in control of the character. Right, let's just call it the avatar. You're in control of the avatar, the character, the game character. And you can direct the character through the game. You can tell it where to go, what items to pick up, where to journey towards, what battles to be in. You're in control of the character, right? But at the same time, you are not immersed in that character's body. You're not seeing the game through that character's eyes. And I'm, I'm referring particularly to third person games where you can see your character walking from above. Because you're not immersed in that character's eyes, that is the best way that I would consider approaching lucid dreaming. Now, this can go one of two ways, right? You can, when you enter a lucid dream, you can approach it from one of two ways. The first way is where you're so immersed and emotionally engaged with what's going on. You're seeing the dream through your dream character's eyes and it feels like, you, and you experience it as you're actually doing the things. You are actually the character yourself. But the problem with that as I'm sure you can relate to, you will eventually get into the situation where you're having a lucid dream and you become not lucid, you lose lucidity, okay? You lose that control because you're too emotionally involved with what's going on. You, it, and it happens so easily, you know, you can be walking down a street and you're lucid, you're in control of everything you're doing and the next thing you know, you notice something coming around the corner, maybe it's a tiger or something and suddenly, bang, you know, you're, sm you're smacked with the reality of the dream. And because you are so emotionally immersed in it, because you think it's actually happening to you, you lose lucidity. Almost immediately you'll lose lucidity. And this happens time and time again. However, the other way of approaching this, right, the second way that I said about before, is if you approach lucid dreaming with the mindset of a gamer, a video gamer. Meaning if you deliberately enter a lucid dream with no intention of getting emotionally charged and involved with what's going on. If you approach it more like a video game, you maintain this third person floating sort of perspective, similar to the effect that you get when you meditate. When you meditate, what you're really doing is you're taking your awareness, your consciousness, out of the mind, the egoic construct of the mind, and into your body, essentially into your body and into just being in the moment in that space. So if you do the same thing when you're lucid dreaming, Right? If you approach it with a detached sort of transcendent awareness, you will experience much longer lucid dreams. Basically, in layman's terms, the less emotionally engaged you are with what you're doing in the dream, the longer the lucid dream is going to last, from my experience. And I really want to hear what your opinions are on this. I want to hear other people's subjective experiences on this as well. But that's just what I found. You know, I found that if I approach it like a video game, I'm not too worried about what I'm doing as long as I'm in control of the character. Those lucid dreams seem to last forever. Now, a common example of this is lucid dreaming sex. When you're having a lucid sex dream, it's very easy to lose lucidity. I'm sure those of you who have done this can agree with me here. You know, you get so involved with what you're doing, the emotions take over, the hormones get released, the adrenaline, the dopamine, and suddenly you're not lucid anymore. You might have a normal dream, you might have a nightmare, you might even wake up. And the reason for that is that you're too emotionally involved with what's going on. You've you've involved your you've involved your mind too much. Too much mind, right? So what I would suggest to do, the, the approach that I always take with lucid dreams is I try and become detached enough that I can control the dream character, but also still engaged enough that I can remind myself hey, I'm still dreaming here. You know, this is still a lucid dream. This is, none of this is real. So try and find a balance between being immersed in what you're doing and being aware enough of yourself that you're it's still in control and you're not gonna lose lucidity. I really hope this makes sense because that's quite a, it's quite a hard feeling to put into words, really. 
but the best way I can think of describing it is just you're sort of floating above the dream character looking down on yourself having the dream instead of seeing the dream through the dream character's eyes and getting caught up with what the dream character sees and experiences. I hope this makes sense. Done. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description and you'll find links to various Lucid Dream products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.